Everyone just take a seat for a moment so I can get a head count, and then I'm going to ask you to all move around. Okay? You're here? Okay. All right, so I'm going to ask people to count off from one to nine, and then I'm going to ask you to please remember that number. All right, so we're going to start here. One. Teresa, are you in? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Seven. Eight. <laughs> You're an eight. And you are a nine. You are. Okay. One. Yes, you're not here. Okay, one. Yeah. Michelle's a two. You're a three. You're a four. Are you guys in? You're a five. No, I have to go. You were five? Are you a five? Are you a five? You are a five. Five, six, seven, Lori, eight, nine, and a one, two, and a three. All right, so all of the, okay, and you can be a one. All right, so all of the tables have a number, so the no, ones start in the back, so if the ones could please convene, the twos can please convene, threes convene, so on and so forth. Number one is in the back. <laughs> yes, nine right here. Nine. Yes. <laughs> She was up in the back. <laughs> this is an eight. Number eight. Number seven. Yes. Okay. How are we doing? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Five is, four is here, five is here. You're three, excuse me, five. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna work it out. Thank you, okay. <laughs> All right, so everyone's on the table? All right. <laughs> Okay, have a seat here. Okay, thanks. All right, so the theory is we should have groups of four. Some of this has worked. Okay, so we have too many um, of... <laughs> okay, table number ones. Yes, please. Okay, can I ask two of you to please... There's how many? One, two, three, four. One of you to please join... This table here? Come on. What are you going to be join our team? <laughs> Is it here or there? If you are unsure what number you are, just sit at a table that has less than four people at it. How about that? <laughs> 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 
it's, it's great. <gasps> okay. Yeah. So if you could have a seat here, please. And if you would have a seat there, please. Okay. Thank you. And so we have one extra person at the one table. All right, so I'm, I need one person from the one table to please go to this table here at the end, if you would. Um, so the, the community college uh, lady in the red uh, jacket. Yes, move right here. Perfect. Okay. All right, have a seat. Dan, have a seat. Please have a seat. We have somebody moving here. Okay. You're going to go right here. Okay. Yay. <laughs> we did it. All right. The next step that we have to take is every group except for this group here. Please go to the back of the room, one representative only. Take a pound of each one of the two types of spaghetti, a bag of marshmallows, and some newspaper, please. All right, so here we go. The activity that we are involved in is called Guess Marshmallows and Spaghetti. Okay, here is the task. Each group is going to be asked to build the tallest tower using only the supplies that they have in front of them, which means spaghetti and marshmallows. You will have 20 minutes in order to complete this task, and I will signal when to begin and when that 20 minutes is over, and I will also give you a five minute reminder. All right, your challenge is to build the, the tallest tower. Your measurement will be from the base of your tower to the top of your tower only. The structure must be freestanding. You cannot be touching or supporting the structure or else it will be disqualified. You can choose to use all of the materials or some of the materials. There, no extra materials can be used and no web searching is uh, allowed. <laughs> all right, and optional for um, the fourth uh, rule is that the teams should not eat the marshmallows, but if you have to, go for it. <laughs> all right, after this, uh, yes. The, the newspapers really, the purpose of those is to build the tower upon it so that um, you do, we're not messing up the black tablecloths. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I will have a group of observers who will be uh, roaming around the room and they will also be measuring the tower to see which group measures the tall, tallest. All right. Is everybody ready? You may begin.
I've had a request on a time check. Five minutes have passed. Fifteen minutes to go. And that's an observation.
There are 10 more minutes left to complete the task. 10 more minutes left. There are five minutes left for the completion of the task. Five minutes left.
One more minute. Step away from the tower. Please step away, and our observers are going in to measure. Step away from the tower, please. Observers in to measure. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Has to be standing. Did anybody measure this group? <laughs> Do we get measured? No. Okay. Paula, if you can measure this group. Did you guys get measured? Okay. Get measured. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm miss missing a measure. Okay. And you, this group can measure? <laughs> Linda? But the tower has to fill both towers, right? <laughs> <laughs> and adding? Okay. Paula, you don't need to All right, if everybody could please have a seat. Our observers will be collecting uh, and doing an analysis of the data. So here's what we're going to do next. Everybody's been measured? Okay. So Addie's, uh, we had four observers walking around and I just asked them to kind of pick up on some of their observations, notes, whatever uh, they saw. So can you just share? Okay, you'll have to forgive me because my notes are really disorganized. Uh, first, I would like to give an honorable mention to Dan Feinberg, who spent his entire time, instead of building the tower, sowing discord and chaos amongst the other teams, stealing their ideas as well as their resources. So, <laughs> most, most creative attempt at this, uh, this project. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say he communicated them to his team, I just said he was collecting them. <laughs> okay, so uh, everyone had really interesting and very different approaches. There were some teams where everybody just had hands on the tower at the same time, building at the same time. Uh, some teams had one person who was building, another person who was handing them resources while everyone else sort of gathered together and just gave their assessments of weaknesses, new ideas on, on how to build on it. Uh, some teams had different, each people kind of in, in like a, uh, what do you call it, an assembly line building different layers of the tower and one person assembling them all together. Uh, at different times, some teams had one person holding on to the tower for dear life while the others tried to bandage it up <laughs> as they were going. Uh, for the most part, it didn't seem like people were that invested in watching what everyone else was doing until it got closer to the end. Um, I think probably partially because you were really focused on whether or not your tower was going to collapse. <laughs> A couple teams' towers did start collapsing, and it was interesting to watch everyone kind of rush to try and, and save it, as well as trying to figure out what exactly was going wrong. Um, we have a, a drooping tower over here. 
Okay, thank you. All right, so now we had Paula, who was scouting about. So some of my observations were very similar. Um, I did like the um, dynamic of people standing versus people sitting. So at the beginning, there were some groups who had folks sitting and kind of looking and maybe verbalizing their thoughts. And then the farther we got into the competition, people started standing up. So that was interesting to kind of sort of see that shift. Um, I don't think anyone was frantic when we got to the five minute mark. Like you guys were like, it is what it is. <laughs> um, as far as um, people looking at other people, of course we had someone from group four who started uh, looking around immediately. <laughs> and then um, other groups it was like farther into the competition. And then finally, quotes that stood out, like one person I think from this group I can't remember what group this is, group three maybe. Um, I heard someone say, oh look, that team actually thought about it and planned something out. <laughs> so, so I guess some people kind of just jumped in and the other folks were like, let's get a plan together. So that was kind of interesting to see. It was fun. Okay, next up we have Sandy. Ditto on most of the other observations. Um, I wondered at the beginning if there was an engineer in the room. <laughs> yes, there was, I heard. <laughs> That's very interesting. And can I just share my observations because I'm a group dynamics person? I was looking to see who the social loafer was, the person who wasn't uh, participating and let, letting the group kind of carry the task. But that now taught me that my perceptions are not always accurate. So what I'm seeing may not really be what is because you opted out purposefully because of your area of expertise. And he's also, okay, so, uh, so now we appreciate that. So what we see from the outside, we have to learn more about really what's happening. Interesting, interesting. Thank you. Okay. All right, and our last observer is Linda. So most of my observations were similar to everybody else's, but I was sort of looking for the interpersonal stuff. So uh, one thing I noticed was um, that Team one was so absorbed that when it was the five minute mark, they were like, oh my God, really? How could that be? We had 20 minutes. I mean, they were so engrossed that, and everybody was so invested, it just, um, and actually, theirs is the only one standing, right? Because it's like, yeah, yeah. And it was 36 and a half inches tall, right? Um, so I, when I approached group eight, they were, it was like really within like a couple of minutes, and the first thing they said, are you spying for another team? So. <laughs> So group eight was pretty paranoid. Um, group nine decided to just add whatever materials that they had. They were really thinking outside the box. Um, and then group four, there was something like too many cooks, so a certain disruptive technology component of the group wandered around and bothered other people. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dis he's a disrupt disruptive technology, right. Um, so group two had a, a, a clear leader. I mean, it was like they had a plan and they just stuck to it even when it kept falling down, which I thought was <laughs> really interesting because everybody had bought into the idea, but then they didn't like change it and it just kept falling down. So I thought that was interesting. Um, and then group three was very, very conversational, like they just, really talked it through and had a good time and then didn't care that it wasn't tall. <laughs> they just stopped. They just like, oh, it's good enough for me. I had a great time. Do you have a good, good for me? Was it good for you? You know, it was like, go marshmallows, you know? So, um, and I think, I think number, group number seven, I can't even remember who they were. Who was group number seven? Was that, that was you guys over here. I had written that they were, um, they were following an agile model because they were responding to each emerging need and reassessing and putting it out there and then starting over once they saw what the problem was. So, and it did pay off until it fell down. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. 
turn to. Or if you could just sit at the table and, and then give you, we want to determine who has the tallest. All right, so this really, um, thank you for all for participating, so, but we have a higher purpose here. First of all, how many of you ate the marshmallows? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So really this was an exercise in planning, leadership, and collaboration. Um, and so some of the questions I have was, uh, you know, what, what was the biggest challenge that you faced? If anybody could just quickly, what challenge? Okay. Lack of usable material. Lack of yeah. Okay, so the, so the resource allocation was a challenge, okay, in the, in the planning, and, and that, yes, could definitely be. Uh, under leadership, um, how many groups had, uh, had a leader, would you say? All right, so somebody stepped up to leadership. Uh, you know what, let's talk about this too. Okay. Okay. I mean, so we started out as four and then quickly became only two because one decided to... You're letting them divide us. No, 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 no. No, I just want, I just think that we should, that it, and then one I didn't even realize had kind of, you know, removed himself from the activity. I'm just going to sit here and watch, and if you need something, let me know. But not saying, I've already done this before, so. But I found that out when everybody else found that out. All right, so we have some uh, inherent difficulties uh, in our planning and in our leadership models. All right, and how about collaboration? I think our observers did some, um, uh, spoke a little bit about the collaborative models that they saw. Um, Anybody deal with frustration? I think we had our answer to that from table number four. But anybody else have a, a, a pain point or an area of frustration um, with, throughout the process? No? All right, so that was great. All right, the next question now that I want to ask relates to SUNY Online. So we will be asked to work together now as a system. And we are all with new partners working towards a common goal. So some of the challenges that we faced and that I'm hearing was resource allocation. Some was in team membership and people having expertise um, that wasn't revealed. And so we had misunderstanding among the group. But how wonderful would it have been if that expertise could have been shared? But to your point, you didn't want to skew the results. So there was competing balances there. Um, Dan just decided that he was in charge of all the groups. <laughs> I, I walked around. I say this in, 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 in a collaborative spirit, Dan. Um, we had one group who was just satisfied with what it is that they had produced and really was not letting the competition influence their decision making. So how unique was that? We had one group who kept asking about the time. So that's an external constraint that you were very aware of. And we have SUNY online starting for fall. And so that is a constraint within this process. Any other application that you can think about of what we just did in regards to Open SUNY? So I totally agree that I was kind of taking over over here and that may not have been the best thing because again, we, we had, I had one, I had one plan and we stuck with it and I can see that happening. Uh, this is how we've always done things and that can be a sticking point for doing this kind of stuff. So honest observation, appreciate it. Somebody else had a comment? Yes, please. You know, uh, having a vision. You know, immediately we agreed on a pyramid that a pyramid would be the best way to go. I mean, we didn't build the tallest, tallest uh, structure. Well, we do now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it was easy for us all to subscribe to a pyramid. And so is it important to be the tallest or is it more important that you had a shared vision? Think about that. Did you have a comment? I kept thinking about the efficient use of resources. Um, I had a little bit of an ulterior motive because I wanted to eat some of those mozzarella mellows. 
but but really on a serious note, I just kept thinking, you know, we've been given all these resources, are we using it in an effective way? And so we can apply that to what we're planning to do for SUNY as well. Thank you. The other observation that I had was that we saw somebody use resources in a very unique way in this group. Although you had less members, you were very creative in the use of the, the resources that were provided to you. And they used, uh, all right, but that, that's, a, yeah, that's, that's a factor. But they used the actual boxes. They didn't take the spaghetti out of the box. They used the boxes to build the tower. And you, that was the only group, and the first group since I've been doing this that I've seen do that. So that was very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the other th observation was I noticed some groups spread all their resources out in front of them. All right, and some just really kept it contained um, and pulled the resources as they needed it. So, so that was very interesting as well. So we have then uh, our big moment now. Uh, we've, I've asked my team of uh, observers to pull together, yes, one, 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 yeah, of course. I look around the room and I see only two towers still standing. Mm -hmm. So what does this tell us about things what, that we do and what happens afterwards? Oh, that's a great question. That's a great question. Yeah. <laughs> does anybody want to speculate on, on, that, uh, on a reply to that? Yes, please. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, wait. Our, we have our expert. Some poor models can be propped up for a long time. Okay. All right. Well, that's very interesting <laughs> comments to be making. Um, we have, although we have several models st still standing, I do want you to take a look at how different that they are. And can we consider that if the, the tower was standing at the completion of the task, was that a success? And so that's something else to really be thinking about as well. So what's, what's our determination of uh, enactment of a vision, completion of a mission? Uh, where do we do that assessment? I think these are all things that we really do need to, to consider. All right, do we have the big announcement from the group? Okay. Who would like to make it? Okay. The tallest tower. Yes, the tallest tower was? The tallest to tower that is no longer standing <laughs> <laughs> was um, Team 1, 36 and a half. I was still standing. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, was that? 36 and a half okay. inches. 36. <laughs> 36 and a half inches, and who was our runner-up? Do we know? Oh, no, I lied. Team four. <laughs> Our creative <Yeah>. spot <laughs> by a half an inch. All right. Uh, I really appreciate everyone's participation in this. I hope it was fun. That was the point of it, that you got to meet new people here uh, at, the, uh, at our summit. Um, please leave everything on the table. Um, we will uh, please take bags of marshmallows if you'd like. We have extras. Um, and uh, uh, enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you all very much. Thank you.